Oh man. <laughs> oh man. What's going on everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I just got done watching. I don't know why. Why did I watch this movie? Blacklight? Blacklight is a 2022 film that was directed by who the fuck is this? Mark Williams. Thank you, Mark. It's Liam Neeson, who I like Liam Neeson. I do. Uh, you know, years and years back. But ever since Taken, he has this thing, or he has the worst agent in the world, where he's just been doing so many Taken knockoffs and ripoffs, and just the same goddamn plot from Taken, recycled, refurbished, Rinse and repeat, same bullshit over and over again with diminishing returns. I've even stopped watching the last couple, but I said, let me just give this one a shot. Oh boy, I'm glad I did. So Liam Neeson, you guessed it, plays an ex-agent type who has a particular set of skills where he can take care of himself hand-to-hand -hand and do whatever he wants, even though, I'm sorry, Liam Neeson... He's at the age where he shouldn't be doing full-on running chase scenes. It just it doesn't look believable. Uh, you're, you're trying to buy that he can catch up to people more than half his age and take them down. And just like, no, no, no. Stop it. Stop it. But you come to find out that, of course... The agent, the government agency that Liam Neeson works for, they're doing nefarious things. What a shocker. We haven't seen a movie with this type of plot before. This movie sucks. Guys, this movie sucks. And I'm not so much doing this review to try to stop you and warn you from watching this because chances are... You haven't seen this movie. You weren't planning on see th seeing this movie. I'm mostly making this review uh, uh, almost as a PSA. Liam Neeson, stop. Stop. I don't, I'm not saying retire. I'm not saying don't act anymore because I do want to see him act in other things. But these type of boring ass generic uh, bullet points of shit we've seen a th a thousand times over. Stop making them. Stop saying yes. You're collecting a paycheck. Maybe the money's that good. You know? And if I was in his shoes, fuck it. Damn. Would I do it too? Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to pretend like I'm so much better or I have these moral standards of some acting career. It's like, dude, I get it. Cash in, make your money as quick as you can because one of these days he won't be able to do this anymore. But fuck. I don't know. It's, it's gotten to the point where if I see a poster, a trailer, anything saying Liam Neeson action movie new, no thank you. He and, and he kind of is sleepwalking through this. He's doing the bare minimum of just delivering his lines and just like, all right, I'm, I'm here. And I'll say whatever's on this page. I'm not going to bring much life to it or personality to it. I'm just going to be the same fucking dude that you've seen from Taken. And he even has a daughter who she has a daughter. So he has a granddaughter. And he really wants to be a part of this granddaughter's life. And there's a point where they both get taken. <laughs> now, this isn't at the beginning of the movie. It's not like it's the main plot. But there is a, a, a part in the third act where he can't find his daughter and granddaughter. And I said, oh my god, they couldn't help themselves. They really couldn't help themselves. They just had to do... Let's just throw that in there, because maybe people, the audiences, were going to kick out of this. Some of the other actors, we have Aiden Quinn, who plays Robinson. He's the government agent, or the government head honcho type guy, who... They say he goes way back with Liam Neeson. They're lifelong friends and they grew up together and all this bullshit. But we don't see any of it. So you don't buy it. And immediately when you meet this guy, maybe it's the way his character was written. As soon as you meet this guy, you know that he's the villain. And they try to create this whole twist. Or, oh, the, the guy who was 
behind all of this, the guy who made the call was Robinson. <gasps> oh my God, Liam Neeson shock. No, it can't be. It couldn't be. Not him. Yes! Everybody and their mom could watch this movie and say, oh, well, he's the fucking bad guy. <laughs> Immediately. There's no tension. There's no emotional investment. Give me a fucking break. I will say that there's one actress that I thought was decent, you know, given what she probably had to work with. It's this actress, Emmy Raver Lampman, if that's how you pronounce it. She plays Mira. She's this reporter who knows that something bad is going on. She wants to expose it. She wants to get to the bottom of it. And she almost reluctantly works with Liam Neeson to do this. And I just, again, nothing blow away, nothing special. But this actress, I bought her. I liked her. And there you go. <laughs> I'm pulling teeth to try to look for some positive stuff in this. Yeah, this movie was boring, bland, generic. Uh, the action scenes, when they happen, weren't shot well. It wasn't even directed well. Uh, poorly written, poorly acted for the most part. There's, there's nothing here. There isn't. This movie's not worth checking out. This movie's not even worth watching the trailer for because I bet you I'll forget everything about this movie in an hour from now. Or five minutes from now, as soon as I stop recording this review what a goddamn waste of time i give this a some old bullshit that's some old bullshit yikes anyways guys let me know in the comments below if you've even heard of this movie i will be shocked if you guys are aware that this movie exists that it came out that liam neeson's still trying to do some action shit good on him thanks for watching like comment subscribe <laughs> Later. Stick it to my decision just to rupture y'all ignition. I'm painting my perfect vision. Intuition is real. If you humble, you will never stumble. Listen, it's clear. But I'ma give it to him. Let the God seize the day.